Hey, High Rollers, today, the man with the golden arm, Dominic Larigio, a master of the most ancient of games, craps. There is nothing like a good long roll in which the shooter avoids that nasty number nobody even dares mention, seven. Well, in the history of craps, there has not been a better dice thrower than the dominator, Dominic Larigio. But first, the origin of the game can be traced back to prehistoric times when shamans would cast bones or sticks predicting the future of their tribes. Evidence of gambling with dice made of knuckle bones has been found in ancient Egypt, where even then, long-forgotten players shaved the dice on one side, allowing them to fall on certain symbols more often. Cheating is what you might call it today. Larigio was by no means a cheater. The rules of the game state the dice simply have to hit the back wall. There are no restrictions on how you set the dice up or on how you toss the dice. Larigio was a practitioner who got his dice throwing start in the garage of his teacher. That's right, he took a course on craps and dice throwing for a measly $600, and boy, did that course pay off. He practiced and practiced on the premise and belief that if he could eliminate the amount of rotation on the dice and keep the dice close to the back wall, they wouldn't stray as much. The more the dice stray, the more often they land on seven. I'm not a gambler, Larigio once said. I'm an advantage player. Gamblers are thrill seekers. An advantage player has an edge over the house based on skill and thorough knowledge of the game. That's why we win. Gamblers only have luck on their side. That's why they lose. Larigio teamed up with Frank Scoblini, another professional dice shooter who's authored several books on the subject, including his best-selling Golden Touch Dice Revolution and one of his latest, Casino Conquest. Over the years, they built casinos for hundreds of thousands of dollars. So good, they were the subject of an episode on the documentary series Breaking Vegas. Scoblini has been banned from casinos in Mississippi and even the Bellagio in Las Vegas. But even he, one of the world's leading authorities on the subject, says it was Loregio who had the golden arm and that golden touch. Think about this. The odds of rolling a seven are one in six. Larigio once went on a 53-minute roll without crapping out, earning $27,000 in the process. That's pretty good. Dominic the Dominator Larigio, the man with the golden arm, today on High Roller Radio.